Whom do you hold responsible for everything that happened? Thanks. That is a question that I cannot answer in uh, a couple of comments, but I'll start with me. There were some issues, of course, that happened with Starliner. There were some issues, of course, that happened that prevented us from returning on Starliner. And I'll start with me. There were questions that I, as the commander of the spacecraft, that I should have asked, and I did not. At the time, I didn't know I needed to. And maybe you could call that hindsight, but I'll start and point the finger and I'll blame me. I could ask some questions, and the answers to those questions could have turned the tide. Um, so blame, that's a term, I don't like that term, but certainly there's responsibility throughout uh, all the programs, uh, and certainly you can, you can start with me. Um, responsibility with Boeing, yes. Responsibility with NASA, yes. All the way up and down the chain. We all are responsible. We all own this. We all have alluded to it. There's lessons learned. And that, that's like a piece of hope, right? We're not just sitting here doing the same thing over and over again. And we're learning from every mistake, potentially, or maybe, maybe a decision that we've made and how we could make that better and, and, and do better the next time. When we go to the moon, we won't have an International Space Station to maybe take a stop at. We really have to get it right. And because of our mission, I think that highlighted some areas where maybe we need to work on and get it right for our fellow astronauts. I think they're encouraged by that, right? You, you learn and you move on and you get better. And I think that's part of the learning process. It's part of the exploration process. I mean, we're, we are scheduled on Wednesday to meet with Boeing leadership, um, the program managers, um, senior uh, chief engineers to discuss some of these issues. They want to come together with us, Sonny and myself, because we live through this with them, and get on board with what the future looks like. And having flight crew with background in test and acquisition involved in the process is going forward to make sure that we're dotting every I and crossing every T.